Hello again everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here, and once again, I don't usually show the starting screen, but I just wanted to point out, and basically just flex, <laughs> that this Deku had a lot of points, like nearly a thousand, and clearly mains Deku with everything customized to be him, a hundred likes, so he's definitely had a fair share of games played, and certainly mains Deku. So basically I was just putting that there to flex that I managed to win. Spoilers. <laughs> I'm very modest. But yes, obviously, um, I don't think I said, but I'm here with Mirio online ranked. So, yep, I tried to juke him. A lot of Mirios either start with Tilt Quirk 1 or Quirk 1, so I started with the Tilt Quirk 1 cancel to try and, <laughs> I don't know, psych him out. Oh, what? Usually that has really good tracking, Mirio's Tilt Quirk 2, the red grab. But I guess it missed slightly there. It was a bit of an awkward situation. Oh, that was probably nearly going to be a wall splat. That sends me flying. Oh, damn it. I thought I could avoid his yellow attack and then still attack him with the Tilt Quirk 1 uppercut. Oh, yeah, if I'm near the corner, sometimes I can even get a conversion off of my Quirk 2 string. So I thought I'd let all the three hits hit and then dash cancel. Oof. Okay. How are we going in? Yep. I think he was trying to avoid the night eye support, and because of all the trees and things being broken, he didn't see that I went <laughs> underground to teleport up at him. And there we go. Yeah. Sometimes if we're in a bit of an air scramble, especially against someone like Shoot Style Deku, has a lot of buttons that are really good in the air. I just do the Tilt Quark one to like get back to the ground, uh, but I cancel it so that I'm. I don't do the uppercut, so I'm just on the floor and not dealing with that crazy <laughs> air stuff. Wow, that was a really good counter to my Tilt Quirk 1. The uppercut, he did his sliding move, his Tilt Quirk 2, and tried to punish it. Yeah, that time I cancelled it, but man, that's a good way of countering it, because it has... The reason he did that is because his, his slide move has a lot of active frames and it hits so many times that as soon as Mirio came up from the ground and was hittable, it, it hit him. So yeah, good move, Deku. Oh, he cancelled that a bit late. Oh, for some reason my Quark 2 string didn't connect after the armor attack. Okay, I'll just try and see how he reacts when he wakes up. Seems like he tries to See how I react, and we're just both running around, even though we're not Zonus. Oh, yep, yeah, damn. Yeah, I think that's even beating the cancel. I should have blocked there. So it seems every time I do the Tilt Quirk 1, he's gonna do his slide. Oh, damn. A lot of people try and challenge you in the air, like after you finish a combo. Because sometimes Mirio can be punishable and not have anything to do in the air. So I did the invincible quirk one move to try and counter it and oh man that would have been a full combo but i cancelled it a bit too early did he quit no okay oh and i won <laughs> no um what am i talking about he won we're into the final round though mirio versus deku it's practically canon it's a training session <laughs> i should have done a, a guard cancel there i don't know why i was trying to take all of that shoot style deku has like probably some of the best guard pressure in the game and yep I, that invincible move, I used it pretty well. <laughs> My honesty surprises everyone. I don't, <laughs> that was really awkward. We both just fell to the ground because I forgot that I didn't have any buttons to press in the air. I would have had to jump in order to press something. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was trying to maximize that damage and just secure the win while I have a hit. Because this guy, He's clearly an adept Deku, and I don't want to take any chances, especially with his three plus ultra gauges. I do not want to deal with that, and I don't know why he didn't punish my Quirk 1 there. I feel like if he touches me 1, he probably knows some weird combo that would have killed me. And wait, did I connect this? Oh yeah, and I brought out the Night Eye just in case. Oh, but Night Eye, yeah, Night Eye ruined it! For some reason, because Night Eye's hit was last, and supports can't kill, for some reason my plus ultra 1 didn't kill it, and now I'm like super scared that he's suddenly in comeback mode. Oh yeah, 
but Tilt Quirk one in the air caught him falling to the ground after he did his armor attack. So I actually punished it from in the air by going underground and coming back up. Anyways, first online ranked match, I mean not first online ranked, but first match of the video is a win with Mirio. How rude, an E every time. <laughs> Okay, we're on the same map again, but I don't think this is the same guy. We're against... Oh. Oh, against a Toga. With some interesting customization. Okay, yep. <laughs> that was a bit gung-ho of me just going for the regular version of that at the very start. I should... Usually I'd do the cancel or something. Yep, I just, I could feel that she was about to throw the projectile, so I did it. I fought so many togas that I can, I just, I live and breathe toga. Also, I played with her. If you haven't seen, I did an online ranked video with toga, which I feel like is a really good way of understanding a character is actually just by playing them, and then it makes it easy to counter them, because I can just tell when she's going to go for projectiles or whatever. Okay. Yeah, try to catch that running that she's doing. Deku has really good tracking as a support. Oh. I don't think I meant to call out Night High like that. I just meant as a normal support. And please don't punish me. And I hope that cape blocks something. Oh! I mean, I kind of grabbed him, but I also got hit by the support. Oh no. Whoa, 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 what is happening? This guy's got really weird movement. And yeah, I didn't think I was going to punish the projectile, so I just cancelled the uppercut, so I was a bit safer. Because this toga seems like she knows what she's doing, so I don't want to risk being punished for the uppercut. But yeah, that one I saw was going to punish, because she just threw that projectile. Oh, here we go. An extension. Oh, I should have just done two hits into the Quirk 2 string, not the armor move. Silly. Okay, bring Deku out and do the teleport at the same time. Oh, I nearly got the conversion anyways. I feel bad for Toka. I don't know why those needles didn't hit me. If I held down the invisibility, invincibility button a bit longer there, the quirk one, those support breakers would have actually missed me. Whoa, what is happening? These matches are being a bit of a scramble against this Toga. She's good at, like, scattering everything that I do and making every encounter really weird. Yeah, when Toga goes into her transform state, if, and if I'm playing Mirio, I like to just go invincible for a while and try and... when she uses all, like, the supports at once, so I don't have to deal with anything. Oh, that was a bit risky of me. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. I mean, to be honest, that's fine, because the first two hits of the Quirk 2 string aren't going to meteor blow. So I just kept doing two hits into that to make sure I secure the round. No matter how many dash cancels it took, I won the game. Because obviously it's fine to use a bunch of dash cancels in a situation like that. If it wins you the game, then it doesn't matter. Okay, here we are against Uraraka. Wow. You don't see many Uraraka's online. Or just anywhere. Interesting. Trying to mix me up with her red attacks. And yeah, in this map, I like to save my meter with Mirio because of all the um, walls and like pillars in the air and stuff when I do my level one there's a high chance that I'll be able to easily convert off of it oh wow that just reached and she's not gonna break interesting see like that and then I can get that off off of it but if it was my level one they're likely gonna run into a pole or one of those things and I can convert off my level one for free so let's try it here if this doesn't kill. Oh, it nearly did, anyways. Oh, damn it. She wasn't close enough to the wall and she didn't run into a pole. Whoa, okay. I don't think I meant to do that because it wasn't that intense of a moment for me. And there we go. Took the first round, nearly a flawless. Okay, how's she gonna start this? Oof, a bit risky, but oh. Oh, that, that sucks when people try to punish. I hate when you get punished for, like, doing the right thing. They, she tried to punish me by jumping, but I recovered too early. 
and I messed up that conversion. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not gonna risk trying to. So yeah, it, you saw there. That's a move where you can actually cancel. Um, I cancelled Mirio's invulnerability by calling out a support and then releasing the button. So yeah, that's something smart can do if you don't want to do the un the really punishable um, punch. Ooh. Luckily she hasn't be able, been able to hit me with any of her Uraraka combos, because they can be pretty crazy. Yeah, that blocks a lot of things, which is pretty crazy since it's a red attack. With really good tracking. Oh, damn it. Okay, is this comeback mode for Uraraka? What? Can you do that? Oh. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh wow, but she's able to block and a hit. And one of the rocks hit me after she blocked, so is that like plus on block? That's really interesting. I might have to test that with Uraraka. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that sucks. She tried to punish me with a red attack, but I was in the air, so it just completely missed. Okay, here we go. She's not taking any chances with her punishes now. She's jumping in the air. Whoa. Oh no, this could be the end. No, no. She should have done her level one just as soon as she touched me. Because that she would have secured the round for her. And oh, Yeah, I like to do some weird risky stuff when it's the end of the round to secure the deal. So I did my yellow attack into that good tracking, tracking red attack. Anyways, that's the last video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.